a fantastic job. We are so glad that he's here. We're so glad that you're here. And we're glad for our next guest. Yeah. Ali is with Brian Voltaggio, and you know, he already has one restaurant in this area, and now he's getting ready to debut a second in this area. That's how good this is. Yeah. And we love Chef Voltaggio. And tell us about the new place, Ali. You know what, that's how big this is because we're in Lunchbox, which is in the Chevy Chase Pavilion, down on the bottom floor, and it really doesn't open until Monday, but because Brian and I go way back, way back to a firehouse when it was snowing, and I think you were working at Charlie Palmer Steakhouse, yes. and we learned how to make homemade marshmallows. We did, yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know, that's did. A, that's a, like, we did a good job with that one, we, though. It was, we it did, was a, fun. We did yeah. a great job with that, but you know what, Brian has gone on, obviously, to bigger and better things. I'm still here, Brian. But no, I get to highlight all your bigger well, and better things. You're, which... you're going to learn how to make grilled cheese now. Grilled cheese, stop it. I see you really have advanced. But, but no, but, <laughs> you know, the, 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 the cool and cute thing about this sandwich is, is that it was actually, um, it, it came about from my children at home. So my daughter and my son, they both like American cheese. Mm -hmm. One likes white American cheese and one likes yellow American cheese. So I call this sandwich the compromise. There you go. That's what also makes you an awesome dad. And so, you know what, so your opening Lunchbox, kind of tell me the concept behind that, because everybody knows about range, which is two floors up. Right, right. so uh, Lunchbox, what it is, Lunchbox used to be in Frederick, Maryland, and then we, uh, we ended up closing the, uh, sorry, uh, we ended up closing the store and moving it down here because we wanted to, to revamp the concept. We wanted to make it bigger, better, and a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. And so what we did is uh, we, uh, we're still using uh, sandwich presses mm -hmm. uh, to make our sandwiches, but then we also have um, Turbo Chef now, which we're, we're doing you know, hot sandwiches made to order. They take about 30 to 40 seconds a piece. We're also doing uh, soups and salads as well, mm -hmm. and we're also offering desserts. So we have a soft serving machine. We're making our own flavors. Uh, the opening flavor now is going to be blueberry and cheesecake. So together it's going to be blueberry and yeah. cheesecake as a twist, so it's pretty awesome. You know what's pretty awesome is I see a lot of these high-end chefs like you that are doing like fast food in essence but it's it's great food well I mean you know what it means to us is that we give more opportunity for people to try our food and cuisine and, and you know we're, I, it, it's a fun concept we were able to be really innovative with the sandwiches and, and the uh, and, and the product that we're putting out I mean my and, sandwich uh, is ready it's getting close we have another 50 seconds on the other side and it'll be ready to go so you close this up in Frederick opening here but Volt still open in Frederick oh uh, Volt's still open yeah. family meals in Frederick um, you know we, we wanted to be in a place that had a little bit more you know foot traffic and we also wanted to have a little bit more space I mean this gives us a little bit more opportunity to play with what we really wanted to do here okay and, I want to make sure that I get in as well here's my man Justin Justin's whipping up a salad what do you got we have the uh, Greek salad which mm -hmm. is uh, smoked feta we have an Italian vinaigrette or Italian style vinaigrette Green grapes that add a nice little sweetness to the dish, and cherry tomatoes. Nice. Now, can you do? Are they are there made-to-order salads too, or just everything different is, ones you pick? Everything is made to order. We're going to have a build-your-own salad, where you can actually choose from the ingredients up in front of you, and wow. it's good to go. You have something for everyone, and. Dane, come on over. I, I want to make sure you get in here because Dane's bringing the drinks. So we want to make sure we include him. What is this? So this is a southern banh mi. It's a crispy fried chicken with a chicken liver mousse and a slaw with coconut. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and my drinks? So right here we have a handshake and iced tea. It's made with uh, blueberries and honey. And then this is also our mint limeade, which is one of our sodas that we're gonna I'm never leaving the lunchbox. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying that. And before we go, as you are cutting that up, not only is Lunchbox opening on Monday, but Range Upstairs also has some new and exciting news. Yes, we're uh, doing a, a new Sunday and or Saturday and Sunday weekend brunch um, at Range, and what we what we're offering here is a little bit um, different than the ordinary. Um, you know, from our typical lunch menu, obviously a lot of eggs, you know, breakfast uh, style items, fried chicken, and blue cheese waffles with balsamic. Ridiculous. Re Ridiculous. Yes. I'm coming on Sunday already. Yeah. Make my reservation. All right. You know what? Thank you. I, so compromise. You like the, the white American or yellow American? I like both. Both on there, right? I don't want to discriminate. Right. See? It's I'm politically sandwich. correct. There you go. All right. So I'll be waddling back over to you guys there at the shops at Wisconsin. Back to you. Oh, my goodness. Holly, I'm so jealous right now. How okay, nice is it to have food. an entire restaurant to yourself, oh, first of all? Oh, I know. And then have Chef Voltaggio, the one that's actually cooking for you. Uh, it's the best. But that's how Holly does it. Yep. That's how Holly does it. That's what we're doing on the dick trip, too. And um, it's not over. Far from over from all the uh, excitement. I um, just saw somebody who's going to be performing for us a little bit later on. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. but is kind of excited. Is this, should we say? I think we've been seeing but it's Jagged Edge. I believe they are here. Jagged Edge. They have a big show at Showplace Arena coming up tomorrow, I believe. Yep. But first, they're with us. And before, before we go to break, we've been showing our 90s pictures. And um, next, we got young Tucker Barnes. Let's take a look at Tucker this Barnes. This must have been elementary school. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's, oh, so, that's so good. Oh. 
graduated from college, obviously, uh, I hadn't found my first job yet, and I don't know what shirt I'm wearing, maybe that's my uncle who's like twice as big as me, but uh, there you go, yeah, that's me before I got my first job with a, yeah. with a haircut. I'm giving you a little John um, Cougar, I am. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm giving you some of that. Jack Still have Diana. a few minutes left, folks, if you want to send your 90s pictures, hashtag is Good Day DC, we'll try to get some more in the air. Going to be tough to top talkers, though. More coming up for Friendship Ice, so live on the plaza, you look next, right here on Good Day DC. Model picture? Uh, you're right. <laughs>